Before we start the video, it's important to note that I've been struggling with Black Diablos for about a week at this point, trying to beat the 7 star Urgent. I know all of her moves, but I always get caught by the hip check. This will be important later. Hunters, it's currently the second weekend of Koropuke, but as a suburban dad, I have quite a lot of responsibility, so I'm gonna play from home today. There's a Koropuke behind my house right now, but first I need to charge the batteries on my lawnmower. So let's go. So people always ask me or complain like, um, why are you only HR blah, blah, blah. Like right now I'm just turned HR 115 and they just up the cap to HR 300, which I would feel like, oh man, about, but also like, what do you get for raising your HR? Literally nothing after HR 11. If there was more incentive, then maybe I'd grind for it. But it's because this isn't all I do. I have so many other things I have to do as a dad, as a business owner, and I would love to just grind the game a ton, but I just can't. For example, today, I have a ton of yard work to do. I have a garden in the back that is a mess, and even my normal yard is a jungle right now. It's because over the winter, everything was dead, and you don't have to mow and stuff, but it just came back like with a vengeance. When it becomes spring in North Carolina, it springs up. So I'm gonna take you with me today, and we're gonna hunt anything that pops up in my yard while I do my yard work, and it'll be engaging. So don't you dare click off. We have to trim this tree, we have to revive my garden, and we have to mow the front and backyards. But if you're interested, let me know and I'll give you garden updates throughout the year. Anyway, let's hunt this coral puke puke and keep going. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised we don't have like a caterpillar monster yet. It would be really cool to see it like go through its different like stages, kind of like Basarios and Gravios. That'd be really cool. So for the entire time that I've had this house, which is about six years, I have used this singular lawnmower and it's used the same battery the whole time. None of this is sponsored by the way, but I'd always have to speed run the lawn mowing because I have a front and backyard, but because I've been grinding my butt off, I was able to buy another $100 battery, <laughs> which sounds like a lot, but if I paid gas every time I mowed my lawn, then it'd be comparable or if I paid somebody. And this is $100 every six years, so. It's pretty good. Plus, the first one's not actually dead. I'm just getting another one so I can mow longer because I'm gonna need it today. Oh look, the door won't close now. Winter has taken its toll, so I'm gonna have to replace these now too. Oh well, I got stuff to do. And yeah, it sucks that I can't just like play video games all the time like when I was a kid, but what are you gonna do, cry about it? I have an amazing family and <laughs> I'm ginger. And those things come with a lot of responsibility, like putting on your sunblock. And I tend to just play like this, where the spawns just refreshed after I cleared out that Coral Puke and Tsitsi. So let's see what we got. Looks like a seven star Diablos and an eight star Rathian, which I don't think I can take out the eight star Rathian, but let's give it a go. I also have a ton of stuff paintballed, which is why I pay for the Prime Hunters Pass, because then when I do go out in the world, my cat paintballs stuff and I can hunt it when I get home. But you guys are gonna watch me hunt a few things while I clean up and mow this and listen to a horror podcast called The White Vault. Let's do it. So as you saw, I got wrecked by that Diablos the first time. And then again, since I'm busy and I'm not spending my first aids on just like a random battle, I just let the timer recharge my health. I finished up most of the lawn and then I took out the Diablos and the moment I took out the Diablos, another Coral Puke showed up. So we got lucky there, hunters. So I'm gonna take this time to take out the front yard and you guys will watch this fight. So let's take out this Coral Puke. OK, 
Okay, now I have to go throw all the stuff that I bought earlier into the garden. I could only afford like four things of soil, so I'm gonna make sure it goes really far. But I got a bunch of plants over here and it was a ton of money, but I really love having a garden, so I'm excited to clean it up. Okay, like I said, it is a jungle back here and these are all garden beds, even though they just look like a grassland or something. I'm gonna grow tomatoes over here and over here, as well as peppers and lettuce kind of strewn about. I'm trying to continue to attempt growing pumpkins because every year I try to grow pumpkins before Halloween and fail. This time I'm gonna start them a little earlier because I always start too late. So that'll take up two of the beds. If you're curious, I'm also growing apples peaches. I want to be like Bowser this summer. Peaches, peaches, peaches. Anyway, it's really cool. I've also got two beds filled with strawberries and the strawberries all have flowers. So I'm going to get just a metric ton of these. I might even take a few and plant them in the back. We've also got blueberries and some of them are starting to form, but I find that the blueberries actually take a lot longer than strawberries to grow. I'll have like tons of buckets of strawberries before I get any blueberries and the blueberries will produce like one time and then we'll have a ton of blueberries. But I've got tomatoes and peppers and lettuce and a bunch of stuff to grow in the back like I told you before and we are losing light so let's get to it. Okay, lawnmower died, so I'm gonna trim it and use the weed whacker to cut down a bunch of this and then go at it really hard with my rake and see if I can get rid of a bunch of these weeds and then put down the little bit of soil I have. I'm just trying to do a top layer, but I gotta plant and water these things quick or else I won't have time to trim that tree. But man, the white vault is so good. Funny story about the white vault. It's a horror podcast, like I was saying, and my wife and I listened to it a bunch. My wife loved it and then put me onto it. And the first season is about a research group that goes into Freestead in Norway where travel is not advised, but lots of creepy stuff happens. It's really good. I highly recommend it. And like I said, she put me onto it and I was listening to it. And then there was an episode that was like a Thanksgiving special or something. And one of the creators was talking on it and he said his name was Travis and I recognized his voice. And I looked it up and turns out I know the guy. Back when myself and my friend group were going to college down in Florida, we started hanging out with this guy named Travis, helped him with a few short films. And I played my first ever game of Dungeons and Dragons, which was set in a post-apocalyptic, like futuristic modern world. And one of my favorite parts is that he rebranded everything. Like we went to a warm subject instead of a hot topic in the scenario, etc. It was amazing. Probably like the best first game of Dungeons and Dragons you can have in terms of like storyline and narrative, etc. Nothing but positive vibes from this person. And so yeah, now he has a highly successful podcast company with his wife. They run a bunch of different podcasts. They are full and scholar productions. I would highly recommend any of their stuff. Again, not sponsored. Check them out down here or over there if you're on a computer. I even contacted him via Facebook this many years later and he remembers me and I signed up for their Patreon because creators support creators. But anyway, I have some digging to do.
couple years ago, hunters, I cut down like half a tree that was taking up my backyard with this. My wife currently doubts that this is going to cut down any tree limbs, but rest assured, this one's coming down real soon. Like right now. Easy. So anyway, next time anyone asks me, why are you only 115? Why are you only HR 200? You've been playing since long. Because, yes, I do play every single day. But I also have a lot of responsibility. Like this, every single day. Like taking care of my family and working for money. So while I may not have the best builds, I objectively have the best life. But best of luck to you on your personal journey. I hope you have a wonderful day. Please like this video for my, so actually I'm not suffering at all. This is amazing. I'm gonna challenge Black Diablos now and send you off with that. Win or lose, it's the path you choose. Let the journey begin. That's a Pokemon reference. But thanks for watching, happy hunting, and subscribe so you can go on this crazy hunting journey with me. Until next time, let's hunt this Black Diablos hunters.